I have some predictions that I hope are wrong. You know, I voted for Biden, regardless of if I think he's awful. I've already talked many times about why I can't possibly vote for Trump, and I didn't. I think Biden did all right in the debates. His mental deterioration wasn't showing nearly as much as it has in other interviews of him. I honestly do wonder whether or not he was on some sort of medication to help his mental agility in some way. But regardless, he touted some reasonable policies. I particularly like how he's hinting on drug decriminalization. Maybe not full on, but far better than the situation we have now. The war on drugs has been terrible. The war on drugs has been one of the most damaging, oppressive, and racist policies this country has ever implemented and kept. But, you know, regardless of the good things, the few good things about Biden, I think Trump is going to win the electoral votes. And Biden will probably win the people's votes, whenever the people's votes get fully counted anyway. However long that takes, and however much controversy comes out of it. But I think the left is not going to take it well. I think the rioting that we've been seeing in big cities for the past, like, six months is going to look like a cakewalk in contrast to what we'll likely see if Trump wins. At least that's my prediction, anyway. I mean, maybe I'll be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I mean, there are already a lot of people who essentially want to see a revolution. And with some people, they want to push for a socialist revolution. They think... It's time. And Trump winning and unregulated capitalism is the epitome of what they're rebelling against. Liberals and leftists will feel like the government no longer represents the people. It's no longer there to help the people. I mean, to be fair, we've had socialism for the rich and for corporations and rugged individualism for the middle and lower class. But, you know, with the quarantines and businesses being closed down and people losing their livelihoods, many will feel like they have nothing left to lose. This rebellion will spread like wildfire. If this happens, the Trump administration would probably be forced to take draconian authoritarian measures that will be viewed by many as fascist in nature. It'll certainly be viewed as fascist by the left. It'll probably be viewed as fascist by the rest of the world, or at least a lot of the rest of the world. Will it actually be fascist? I don't know. Yet many people on the right are already prepared to go to war with the rioting left. The attitude from many on the right is that the left have really important lessons they need to learn. And honestly, I'll have to agree with that notion in theory, that the left needs to learn some important lessons. But I disagree with how those lessons would be carried out in practice. It would be a bloodbath. That's too high of a price to pay. As far as I'm concerned, we need to avoid a bloodbath at almost all costs. This kind of conflict would essentially be a civil war. And here's the thing. The left would not win that kind of war. You can talk about who should or shouldn't be on the right side of history, but the right wing are the ones with the most guns and knowledge of how to use them and with the most practice in using them. The government is certainly not going to side with the people trying to seize power by force, the people trying to take over the government by force. The government is going to side with the people on the right, and they're going to get labeled as patriots. Most people are just going to want to be left alone. Most people are not going to want to choose a side. But as time goes on, they'll be expected to pick a side. You could say they'll be forced to pick a side. A socialist revolution? Or fascism? It's like my one friend said, Pick a side, or it will be chosen for you. But in this case, it could have lethal consequences instead of just being a situation where you lose an online friendship. 
The left likes to think that we're moving forward, that we're conquering oppressive traditions of the past, or dismantling oppressive traditions of the past. The left considers the biggest threats to be the return of old forms of morality making their way into law, and the return of the fear of authority figures. Respect authority. And then things like the removal of regulations for businesses. The return of businesses being able to do whatever the fuck they want. The right wing considers the biggest threats to be the deterioration of their cherished traditions and way of life. Yeah, it seems we may be in for an impasse. With the Trump victory, that kind of impasse is what we may be experiencing. You know, I've talked with a number of people who say that if Biden wins, the rioting will continue and possibly get even worse because the rioters will feel vindicated and feel that they have more power. So they'll try even harder to get more power. The thing is, if Biden wins, then most people will look at the rioting for what it is. People being unreasonable. Fewer people would want to get on board with that, since, with a Biden victory, we would be seen as making some progress. I truly believe that the rioting would calm down significantly if Biden won. I don't think Biden winning would mean that we're appeasing terrorists. It would mean that we're de-escalating the situation. I mean, it's not like Biden would be telling the, the rioters, oh yeah, keep on rioting, good job. No, he's not going to do that. But I don't think Biden is going to win. I think Trump is going to win. United we stand, divided we fall. And the more divided we are, the easier it would be for another country to attack us. But you know, let's egg on the division. Let's egg on the conflict. Let's teach the left a lesson at all costs. Let's implement an authoritarian government to teach the left a lesson. That'll show them, right? Because, you know, authoritarian individuals on the left are so much worse than an authoritarian government. Oh, but it's not authoritarian for the government to try to stop this stuff. Well, it depends on how it's done, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the government becoming authoritarian to try to teach the left a lesson, is not a good move as far as I'm concerned. So all we can do is vote and cross our fingers. We can't stop human nature. It is what it is. If a true conflict is what we're in for, then let's get it over with as soon as possible. I look forward to this election being over. Then at least we know what we're in for. Anyway. <laughs>